Wow. Check this crap out, man. What the? Yes, he does. Of course, we can't let anybody in chat know that he's got glasses, even though... Got that old man thing working now. He's he finally caught up with us, hadn't he? I wonder when I do this transition if he's still gonna have them on. Dad gummit. Well, anyway. Oh, so we crank this shit up or should we just stare at this uh true vapor show screen? Better kick it on because shit's getting a little crazy in there. Watch a smooth deal. Just kind of, just kind of floats in, kind of floats in there. Oh, what is going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show number two zero four. We are back. I am beat down like an old man should be, and for the rest of the bunch. I really couldn't tell you. So, no special guests tonight other than the three special folks you see here right now. Um, yeah. You do look a little plump today. It looks like you're, you actually looks like you're sitting in some type of dark room or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, never mind. I'll take it back. Well, Mark, why don't you take it away then? What? Oh, crap. What the... I... Yeah. But no, 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 no. It was doing this shit last week. I... 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 We're going to come right back. We'll come right back. We'll come right back. So I'm going to just shut this down for one second and fire it right back up. Let's see, let's see, we are, we should be back. All right, so let's try this again. Can you guys hear me right now? Please. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Can you hear me? Yes, all right. All uh, right. ST changed something and he's not admitting what it was. He I, know did he not, I did not change anything. It's it, going to happen again then. Yeah, it, it, it happened last week, remember? A couple of times. I don't know what that. I don't right. care anymore. Take it away, Mark. Mark. Quick, buffet. Get your buffet. Let's yeah, do it. Shit. We got all pod systems. We got the Inikin pod, which is a nice dark pink. We got the Lost Vape. We got the Movekin. We got another pink pod system. We got the Carbon with the BTFC. We got this fucking thing right there. Uh, juices doesn't really matter, but I got some of this strawberry stuff. I got the French dude in 12 milligram, and I got pancake reloaded, whatever, in three milligram. That's it. Take it away, Michael Vapes. All right, I'm vaping on the Druga Foxy Resin Rebirth RTA. I'm vaping on the Cold Steel with the Alexander RDA. I'm vaping on another Cold Steel with the Asgard RDA 25 millimeter. I'm vaping on a recurve on a Vindicator. I'm also vaping on SQ with a Rebirth RDA. We have the Movekin Luggy Pod System. Vaping on a couple of Caliburns also. Still doing some testing on this thing here, Kangertech Pod. 
And that's it. Take it away, Scotty Vapes. I feel like a Scotty Vapes right now. Ooh, look at that. All I got my one... liquids. I'm vaping all this stuff here. <laughs> Thanks. I got one of those cool stickers from Angela's side dick. What the hell? There you go. How's it going? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool sticker. That's what that's I'm like. Angela's side. <laughs> that's what I'm vaping right there. Because I'm so pissed off right now. This is all I'm vaping. So that's all I'm saying. No that's buffet. All. No buffet for me tonight. Because I'm just. I, see, I'm not even in the mood now. Because I'm so sick of something always happening on here. Do you play the feed? No, I don't play okay. it. I don't play the damn thing. I'm not like you, Mark. I, I don't play the feed. Only Mike plays the feed. I play the feed, but I got it muted, so I can't tell if I, I could see in chat, though. Mike's internet can handle it, though. STs can't. Obviously, it can't, and, and supposedly, I got one of the best internets around, and any other time, it does great. I'm actually on Zoom. I'm watching the YouTube feed also, and I'm on Netflix watching a movie <laughs> at the same time. No. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so. This is true, so Yes, it is show 204. <laughs> How did we make it to 204, I'm wondering now. What are you showing that off for? I forgot to include that in my buffet since you guys rushed me. Why, because you're on the the bulk kick again? I thought you'd got off of that. No, I got off the the banana kick. Look who's out there. So what? Let's start off the show with this. So if y'all are looking in chat, we have a new person with us now. It is now Matt from SMM. No longer suck my mod. And he, there is there a reason why he changed yeah, his name? There is a reason because he's going to start reviewing other products like electronics, cell phones. Yes. <laughs> he's getting away from vaping and he's going to take all the subscribers that subscribe to him for vaping and try to bring them over to his new platform. Exactly. And you know what he said in his video? That, you know, he kind of feels weird because he always has to explain what Suck My Mod is when he says Suck My Mod. Yeah. But now he has to explain what does SMM mean. That's true. So That's true. everybody in chat, if you all want to know what SMM means, just message, uh, <laughs> message Matt and ask him that question. Yes. He'll explain it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> my mod at gmail.com. <laughs> I was going to say yes. Make sure you email him to find yeah, out what's going me. out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, uh, did his email change or is it still suck my mind? That's a good question. Matt, what is your is your email still the same or not? And who's well, going to, it's probably Matt. It's either Matt from smm at gmail.com or it's still suck my mod at gmail.com. He might have both. He's probably not going to answer that question now. <laughs> and who designs these products? Suck my mod or Matt from SMM? See, I was wondering too. Is he going to start putting on on his new designs, Matt from SMM on there instead of just the SMM logo? He's keeping the SMM logo. But is he going to add Matt from in front of it now? Oh, that's a good question, right? There's a lot of questions we have. For, I, I, if I'd have known this, I would have had Matt come on here. But you know, we need like full explanation. From <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. You guys, you will understand when you see Matt review the new AirPods on his channel next week. Yep. <laughs> so, um, monetization apocalypse on uh, for vaping product. Well, I don't know about everybody else, but for vaping, yeah. Yeah, mine as small as my channel is, pretty much. And with me again, I don't really care about it. But what's funny is, is that I uploaded it and premiered a video last night. And this is the first time it's ever happened. When I scheduled it and had everything set up, it automatically wanted to review it then. Opposed to the video going up yes. and then getting hit for a review. It's immediately it's, right now. It's immediate. So it's like, it's pointless now. So, But uh, whatever. Yeah. I don't care about the monetization. The only thing I care about is, are they, because it's not monetized, are we going to be in a search? Like on home pages? Are we going to get views? Is that going to decline the views? That's what I'm very worried about is the views. Yeah. You know, accessibility to the videos. You um, know, what I've been doing, I don't know if it does anything, but 
if you monetize your video and you uncheck all the boxes other than the monetize box. That's what I've been doing. I've been unchecking all the boxes, but I leave the monetize box checked. I have no clue what all the boxes are. It's like for different ads that play, like the beginning ad and the mid roll and this shit. Like, I don't, think, I don't think I have any of mine checked other than the monetization that's, one. That's maybe why you're not getting views. You got them all unchecked. No, you. It normally checks all of them. Like on, it's yeah. the standard uh, setting is all boxes checked. Yeah, I'd have to look. I don't remember offhand, but. Whatever, as long as it doesn't uh, affect getting views, I don't. I could give two craps about yeah. YouTube uh, monetization. Is there? A... Then you oh. get no ads. But okay, yeah, that's that's fine. You get no ads, but are you still in the search? Because no, that's the want... thing. They want you to. You're still gonna have ads. There's still monetization on the video. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the full amount. Oh, okay. It's it's very it's drop down low. Um, I don't know how to explain. Oh, YouTube Red. Is that what it's called? YouTube Red. I think so. Oh, yeah. And YouTube Red, you're still you'll get monetization, full monetization for views off of YouTube Red. Now I don't know how it works. I know there's no ads. I think on YouTube Red, but you get part of the pie from YouTube Red. I guess the subscription part. I guess that's the way it works. I'm not sure, but whatever. It just, and again, not it's not even for me on monetization with it. It just seems like, and I even heard Matt say it because I watched his video uh, about the name change. It's like more and more they're going after, and they're, I'm certain they're probably going after a lot of things, but since I know about the vaping community on YouTube, it seems like they're slowly... Uh, just <laughs> eliminating vape stuff on yep. YouTube, which because it's considered controversial. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it sucks because this is what I do on here, and I don't, I don't want to stop doing this. But and to buy, say, buy a TV, uncheck your monetize button, and then run your own ads that YouTube can't take away from you. Well, what I'm saying is, if it gets to the point with YouTube and they no longer will allow any type of vaping videos like what we do, I mean, I've always thought about trying to do other things, but it's still, it's at that point that, I mean, this is what I know. Yeah. You know, trying to get crying <laughs> back up and doing, I mean, it would be cool every once in a while, you know, like what Mike's doing. Mike's getting into his other channel a little bit. He's having some stuff from Amazon. You know, people asking him, hey, you want to review this product? That would be cool from time to time, but I'm not about to invest a ton of money into, like, electronics and stuff like that just to put up videos. All right. Uh, someone said go to VapeTube, but that doesn't even come up on a search in Google. So it's kind of like, yeah. They, if they had more of a Google presence, and good luck with that, because obviously YouTube is Google. So yeah, and uh, yes, it's called Premium, not Red. It used to be called Red. Oh okay. It's called hmm. YouTube Premium. Uh, thank you for the donation, there, Mister Vape Ross Vape. Has Matt been acting new since the name change? You know what? He has changed a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Now he doesn't even want to talk to us anymore. Yeah. Oh, big shout out to Fogging Out with the Batman. What is going on, brother? I hope you are doing okay. As we you don't speak. want to talk to us because our names, all three of us, have vapes inside it. Like Mike Vapes, ST Vapes, Vape and Fagan. So now he don't want to associate with us. So cause... why couldn't Matt just go to Matt Vapes? We don't have a Matt Vapes out there, Matt do we? <laughs> My name is not Vapen Fagan. It's not spelled V-A-P-E. It's V-A-P. Vap. Vap. So I'm clear. V-A-P-E-N, right? No, oh, it's V-A-P-N. V-A oh, it's, it's right. It's V-A-P-N. I'm clear. But still, it's got the V-A-P in there. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because Mark didn't know how to spell vape, vaping, anything like that. That was his rendition of it. V-A-P-N. It was a spelling error that worked out for him. Yeah, I think what he was doing while he was smoking a cigarette, he was thinking it is mine. How do I spell vaping? And you guys, you guys what, notice what? on Matt's video, 
What? All the Amazon affiliate links in there. <laughs> on whose video? On a Matt's video. Matt's video or mine? When he changed his name, Matt's got all these am these affiliate links for cameras and laptops and all kinds of shit. Man. Hell yeah. I got the same thing in mine, too. Yeah. <laughs> I got all Amazon links in it. Well, I got all my gear, whatever I use for. Because people always ask what camera gear to use. I feel so bad. I got, a, I got an affiliate link also in there. But this is shit that he doesn't even use on his channel, like just household <laughs> items, like coffee pots and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because the man's not he had even a on. Machine in it. <laughs> He's not even on here to defend himself, but uh, I'm certain. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's uh. It's getting pretty crazy because I, I kind of thought we were done with some of this crap, but it just, I don't know. It, it's loomed in the back of my head that sooner or later, YouTube is going to be done with this crap. It's just. Way to jinx it, SD. Good job. Dude. I mean, you sit here and say it every day. But how can they have videos? Like, I see a ton of cigarette videos, cigar videos. They're probably all demonetized. I wonder if they. I would. I, that would be nice to know to talk to a cigarette reviewer or cigar reviewer and see how their videos get hit. I I don't know how that works out. I mean, that's what's crazy too because some of the stuff that I've seen on YouTube and it is monetized. To demonetize what we're doing, and they're allowing for them, it just seems like I don't know what y'all are thinking, but yeah. You know, that's I guess it's not my job to uh, make those decisions on uh, what's happening there with that, but I don't know, man. Uh, YouTube isn't what it used to be. I will, I will say this, and Kid Bash just said Vimeo. If it gets to the point where, again, we get to that point, if we don't you know if YouTube or if YouTube pulls the plug or whatever on us, I'm not going to another platform. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. it. It's just, I'll just look at it as I've had a long, good run. Uh, I've enjoyed what I've done. And, you know, I, I mean, I could still go live and just talk about whatever. But it just won't be anything vaping involved. I don't exactly, Ren. I'm going to actually, I'm actually going to start a makeup channel, a drama channel. There you go. Makeup drama channel. I've heard that through so many people that that seems to be where like the major drama's at, and I, I guess I could see that being a pretty big outlet for that. Who is it? Oh, Felix was saying because he keeps up with all that stuff. He said there's a lot of a lot of drama queens over there and that crap. But mm -hmm. does uh, Felix wear makeup? I'm getting to wonder if he does as much as he's been talking about that stuff, but. Nice. So let me ask you this. So I, I'm going to ask you both. So if they cut us out on here, but your channel is still there. Well, no, no, no. Let me do even a better one. If they cut us out and they cut the channel out, but you still got your alternate channels like we all have, will you still go live on those channels and just, just to sit there and ramble on about anything or you're just going to like cut it all off. Well, the thing is they won't cut us off. It ain't going to happen, but yeah, I ain't worried I, about that. Yeah. I don't see them like banning vaping on YouTube and like deleting channels. I, I don't know. I just can't see that happening. Cause you know what? I, I don't, I won't, I don't put anything past anybody on this crap, but yeah, I won't. It would have happened with cigarettes. Yeah. I or mean, like the outlaw guy, what does the outlaw guy do? He does fucking chewing tobacco, which is, probably 10 times worse but hold on is his channel monetized yeah, yeah. but he gets hit all the time too okay. he got he's he got strikes for links yeah. oh okay okay so i think we'll we'll be able to do videos we just we can't monetize can't promote links can't use links we just do our videos like we normally do and that's it yep. well and a lot of that uh, at least i know on most of our ends we've pretty much cut all the cut all the fat off everything like links and stuff like that mm -hmm. um and i still i know i've got older way older videos that have links in them that probably i need to go back and delete but you know, I yeah, know. i've gone through, i've gone through all mine 
No. And just delete all the links. See, everyone mentions vape tube. The pro vape tube is fine, but it feels like starting over again. What, like is, just what exactly is vape tube? I think it's like a YouTube for vaping, I would assume. Yeah. But the only thing is, is that you'll never find those. Vi if you put a video on there, it'll never come up on a search. If someone searches for it on Google, for example, to find that video. So oh, real quick, it's a uh, good alternative, but it's I've, I've uploaded. Uh, I actually uploaded uh, four videos up there. I did like I uploaded, I think, two this past week. I put up a, I've uh, been putting a couple of videos here and there on there, but um, uh, thank you for the donation there, Black Cat White Face. Look at them, Black Cat White Face vapes. I thought it was just Black Cat White Face, but anyway, ST's band fund, save it for a rainy day. Thank you, sir. Right, I know it won't come up yet. When the time comes and it does come up on the searches, then that's a different story. Yeah. Somebody says vaping Fagan do a mukbang. What the hell is a mukbang video? A mukbang? Mukbang bag? What is that? I forgot what it is. I I've, okay. I've seen the video before, but I forgot what it what it is. Is that a new style of vaping there that I have not heard of yet? Is that no. uh, is that the kids' term? It has nothing to do with vaping. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh. I do want to show something over real quick. Is it good or bad? It depends on how you look at it. I got to oh. get it out of the plastic bag, though. Well, real quick, uh, thank you for the donation there, Vaporos Vape. Will Match Channel be just S and M? Any BBW? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's going in deep on this one. Uh, muck bag, stuff your face, get paid. What? need a glove for this gorging on food oh okay mm -hmm. well damn I've been doing that most of my life and I get paid for doing that so I was so impressed today uh, the fingers are cut off dude why don't you get some that fit hold on I was so impressed today by what came out of me I had to put it in a bag <laughs> wait you see this <clears throat> This came out of me today. <laughs> oh my God, son. Look how solid it is. Wow, it's not even falling apart. No, it's like it's like plastic almost. Yeah, well, they're just with my channel probably, but hey, it was uh, a good run. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Angela thought I was kind of weird for saving it. Was that a, like a peanut or a piece of corn? That's We had corn yesterday for dinner. I got you. Wow. I feel uh, so... Leave I feel tomorrow. like 20 pounds lighter. Uh, it seems like you'd be lighter <clears throat> than that, but... <sighs> you know what I forgot to do last week, and somebody made mention of a little while ago. Even though I did it like a son of a bitch on Sunday night, I have not done it on my own show yet. If y'all are looking for one of the best <laughs> Facebook groups out in the land, go check out his <laughs> ST Vapes group. <laughs> <laughs> Better join it quick before he closes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do that at least once <laughs> over here. God. I'm trying to really nail that. That uh, <laughs> trying to sell that. But anyway, oh man, oh man, oh man. Dude, I always wanted to taste it. Which end did that come out of, Mark? <laughs> Stick it in your mouth, Mark. Oh, 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 it's chocolatey. It's not real, folks. It's foam. There you oh, go. Oh, man. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord Almighty. Yes, you've seen it here first. I don't know why you needed to see here first, but <sighs> you just. Uh... Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Chubbs just said, suck my Matt Vapes. Suck my Matt Vapes? That would be a good one right there. Why don't we do this real quick since we're like loaded with topics and I've kind of put topics on hold for a second. <clears throat> I know Matt's still out there watching and I'm going to do this in his honor tonight. The people that are watching... 
y'all think of what Matt should have really renamed his channel. Let's see who. Let's see how creative y'all are out there in chat. He should have named it just Matt. I think what will happen is, is that he's going to see some ideas roll through here. And by at least tonight, you'll see a new name on the channel again. <laughs> I, think, I think you could rename your channel twice, right? I think you could. A year or six months or something? Uh, Kevin, I don't think we can do meth vapes. What if we spell it differently? Small mouth Matt. Uh, come on now. We need to... We need to really step our game up. Oh, you missed the big bubble. There it is. Uh, at Beaver, there's been a delay, and it could be a permanent delay. At this point, I, I'm, it's with me, if you would know me, I'm a patient person at first, and then I lose patience. So I'm kind of at that point that I really don't care right now. <laughs> so, Maddie Vapes. No, I think we've got a Maddie Vapes out there. All right. So, do we got any good names? Yeah, but Matt just says already got the new name verified, not changing again. Come on, Matt. How the it hell is, they get it verified? How about, how about small mouth vapes? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Matt's vapor. That would have been a good one right there, I think. How about vaping with Matt? <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't think anybody's being too creative tonight. No, I don't think we can do that one right there. So, Mark, you've got something interesting about to happen tomorrow, and I won't be too far behind you. Do you want to drop the bomb now, or do you want to hold off? Or do you just my, want my blue video is coming out tomorrow? So, if you guys are going to hate, save your hate speech for the comment section. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I won't be too far behind either, so. See, I'm hoping that <clears throat> this video is so good and professional that Big Tobacco actually sees it, calls me up, and actually offers me a job, like, in their vaping department. Oh, my like, God. Like, we want you to be the spokesperson for us in vaping. I'm like, hey, I'm your guy. Wow. Yeah, Marlboro's going to produce the bulk for you. There we go. I'll we'll manufacture it. I'll be collabing with a project with Philip Morris. How awesome would that be? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was just looking at. We've got our uh, crew just showed up. I should have checked that in the box before I went yep. live. I just didn't even think about I guess they're waiting for everybody to go live. Oh, here they are. You know what? Hey, we do this for me, man. Oh. Jesus. I'm going to make Matt a wrench also. What's that website again? Oh. They're all done. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add Matt as a wrench. I thought I already had him on here as one. Mm -hmm. uh. But I, as I was shooting the video, I just didn't understand the hate for the blue. Like, I don't under, It's It was a good pod system. I didn't understand why everyone's so buttered. Because it's associated with big tobacco, that's why. That's the only yeah, reason why. The point I made in the video, like, I didn't care who makes the products. As long as they work and they get people off cigarettes, like, why should it matter who makes it as long as it does what it's supposed to do? That well, was my... I'm going to do my video, and I'm just going to do, like I said, like I was going to do or talked about a few shows back. This right here is a vaping product. Yep. Gets people off cigarettes. That's what it's about. Just like the rest of that shit up on the shelf behind me, and just like all these other pods laying in front of me. I think sometimes people just want to hate on shit just to follow the trend. Like, yeah, yeah. we yeah. hate it because he hates it. And like, I actually, I actually told him uh, when he asked me to review it. I told him I wanted to sign a, a three-year, two point five million deal with them. Damn. Two videos, and they, they never <laughs> asked me back. <laughs> they said it's they said well we'd like to offer you more you're kind of lowballing it there aren't yeah. you <laughs> well, we're gonna offer you five million but we'll set up for 2.5 yeah. they said well we gave mark five million 
Yeah, really. If they gave me five million, I'd have blues all over this shelf right now. If they gave you five million, we wouldn't have to worry about YouTube. You'd be long gone. We'd never see you again. I would be holding this up if they gave me five million. Hey, folks, <laughs> well, you are. To True Deeper Show. You're holding it up right now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You are. So you got it. <sighs> But, you know, we were kind of talking about this before the show began. You're still going to have the haters come out. You're still going to have negative comments on there and people trashing you and all this and that. But, again, I I chalk it up to hell. I've been doing this long enough to where I've had a lot of other videos where I've got trashed on and I'm still, still going day to day. So, oh, well. Because Uh, years of their money to big tobacco. Yeah, but people willingly gave their money to Big Tobacco. They weren't forced to give it to Big Tobacco. Not that I'm trying to stick up for Big Tobacco, but keep in mind, like, we all gave our money to them because we had a problem with an addiction that we couldn't get rid of. It wasn't... No. You know? So it's... I think it's an argument that you can go back and forth on all day long and still never come to an agreement. Look, just the way I see it, I already said it on a previous show, uh, the... The video is mainly, obviously, when a new vapor goes to a gas station or whatever and they buy the blue, they might, they're always going to do a search, no matter what, whether you, before you buy a product or after you buy a product. And I've seen it so many times where people have bought a product, they do a search, and then they, they're like, oh, I was looking to see a review on how to use this product that I bought or whatever the case may be. So hopefully by them searching, they'll find, for example, Mark or ST's channel, whoever does a video for it, it maybe has other vape products, they'll see that there's other stuff available for them and maybe they'll make a purchase for something different for their next purchase. Something that's not related to big tobacco. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, or they'll watch the video and say, fuck this, fuck that guy, I'm going out and buying a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Yep. What's funny is, is that I'm seeing a lot of people in chat saying blue was like the first product that they ever picked up. And, and I'm right there with y'all. That's what I bought yeah. years and years ago. That was but, my very first one. But back then it wasn't Big Tobacco. No, it wasn't. Right. But even if, even water. if it was, right. I, that's, that's what I found on the internet and that's what I bought. <laughs> yeah. But... Mm-hmm. But hey, that, that's what makes I, I, that's what makes the community great. You're gonna have people for it and against it, and you know, as long as y'all act like adults about it, which I know you won't, but everybody can agree to disagree. Well, Big Tobacco owns a lot of places. They own Avail. We we know that they own a lot of uh, vape products. I think uh, I just I actually didn't even know this. I found out watching uh, Matt's live stream yesterday. We was had Phil Basardo on there that Vapor Shark has actually been bought by Big Big Tobacco. Oh, I didn't know that. So oh, all the vapor shops that you see, all the Instagram, social media, whatever you see with Vapor Shark, that's all Big Tobacco owned now. That's why you haven't seen no new Vapor Shark mods. Oh, uh, gotcha. They sold it off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't realize this. Big Tobacco owns Vapor Beast. Wow, that's like one of the biggest handlers in the U.S., correct? Yeah. yeah. They're slowly buying everything up. Yeah. I don't know when they bought Vapor Shark, for example. I have no clue. But, uh, yeah. No. Uh, oh, thank you for the donation there, Charlie. Uh, when we trash Jewel or Blue, the public perception is... They are the majority of vaping, so all vaping needs to go. We need to support vaping in general. Fully agree with you there. There you go. Uh, what is that? What time am I coming to your trailer with my chair? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, Joseph. Blue wasn't big tobacco back then. 2013. Uh, I think Blue became, uh, I think uh, the Big Tobacco bought them uh, 
I think in sometime in the past two or three years, right? I think it happened. Yeah. Something like that. You know what, though? I will say this about it, and I, I think I'm free and clear to say this. You know, it is one of the first people that hit me up for a review that asked me, didn't tell me, but asked me, will you please put the warning sign up in the beginning of your video, like I do every one of them, yeah. and, and they said, will you please age restrict the video? And that's something no, no, no. ever has to do. No. I have never, ever been asked to age restrict a video. Never. So. Yeah, I forgot all about that. I'm going to forget about it tomorrow, and yeah. Well, you can do it now and you, if you've got it scheduled. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Oh, what else <laughs> we got going on out here? Yep, Big Tobacco owns Fangin Industries. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do now anyway. Uh, oh, big shout out to, uh, I don't know if he's still out there, but Mooch, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I see Joel out there too. Joel, I just want to give you a heads up. Mike will be looking for you this weekend. Be prepared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be in Houston, Texas. Yep. At Vape Showcase. I heard the event is going to be horrible. Ooh. That's what I've heard. Ooh. Rumors are that the events will be horrible, but I will be there. I'll be there with Stephen Garlington and Phenom Vapes. But you you get to do one check off that bucket list, right? Yes, I get to. Well, I've already met Mr. Just Right One. Tenacious TX will be there. Uh, but I get to meet finally. Vaping with Twisted Four Twenty has returned. Yep. So I get to meet. Oh, he's gonna be there. Richard. Yeah, that's kind of. I don't want to say his neck of the woods, but he lives in Texas. I don't know how far he lives from Houston, but well, he goes to all the. He's going to that event. Yeah. Be, yeah. So. I know somebody else that just changed their name on their channel, but I won't say any names. Was supposed to be going, <laughs> but uh, canceled. But yeah. I won't say anymore. <laughs> My thing is to meet like all reviewers that I watched before I started vaping, or actually when I started vaping. You know, saying so there's uh, I'm down to three that I want to meet, and that's twisted, obviously rip trippers and indoor smokers. So I'll get twisted out of the way, then I'll be left with two. That'll be cool. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Knight K Love or Knight Clover. I was about to say Knight K Lover. Uh, let's not forget the industry would not be where it is if Jewel would not have done a lot of their crap. Hmm. Well, what is the crap that they've done? Well, they basically don't want to have nothing to do with the vape community. True. You know, they're all about them. They want to make money. That's why they're doing this. They're doing it to make money with the jewel now when it comes down to kids vaping the jewels that I, you can't even fault that on jewel you got to fault that on the companies the stores that are selling the products because it could yeah. be a jewel it could be something else it could be a, a smoke tank whatever you know so you can't blame jewel for that <laughs> but you, you know i know with the way that I know pods are so much easier to do in a school environment now, obviously, because you can stealth vape your ass off to where back in my day when you smoked, you couldn't light a cigarette up in class and, you know, try to hide that fact. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, I was buying cigarettes when I wasn't supposed to be buying cigarettes because I was not being carded. And... I don't see any difference in what's going on today. I think kids are still walking into stores and you still got store owners just because they're wanting to make money selling the products and not IDing people. It doesn't stop there either. You know, we can talk about alcohol, everything else. So 
that's a broad spectrum right there. I don't think it's as easy as it used to be, though. No, but I think you still got store owners doing it constantly. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You get people are saying, but they're the ones that got the FDA doing their thing. No, it's not that they got the FDA to do it. It's actually the store owners that got the FDA doing it by selling the jewel to miners. Yeah. Like I said before, it could have been the jewel. It could be this. Let me tell you something. If a kid gets caught in school vaping this right here, you know what they're going to call this? A jewel. Everything is named a jewel now for them. No matter what the vape product is, it's it's a jewel. That's what they're calling it. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of debates in all of this, but, you know, some of it, too, is... Oh, I gotta tell you. Uh oh, what's going on? <laughs> Marcus's friend, who's probably what, 10 or 11? 10 or 11, yeah, told him that he's gonna go to the gas station and buy three jewels. He's got 30 bucks. There you go. Now he's got how much money? 30, 30. bucks. He's How's at... he gonna buy three jewels for $30? Exactly. Now, is the person working in the gas station stealing the jewels and selling them on the side? I have no clue. First, I heard of this, but this kid's wow. He's wow. That kid's a little young to be buying jewels. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, I, I thought that the uh, now I I can't tell you the last time I've I've seen prices, but it used to be buying the actual device and some pods was like forty nine bucks or something or forty five yeah. bucks. Yep. Well, a friend of mine here in New York, uh, he bought a jewel. For thirty, he said. That's what he said he bought it for at the gas station for thirty dollars. I can guarantee you, Tough Puff is probably selling underage kids because I remember I went in there to buy a jewel for a video I had to do, and he said, "We're all sold out. It's really popular, but we're gonna have a box of them in in about a half hour." And I'm like, "How the hell are you getting a case of jewels in a half hour? And how are they sold out like that?" So I'm assuming this place is probably selling them under the table. I'll tell you something. Back in uh, 2000, I think it was in 2002 or 2004, something like that. It was somewhere in there. I owned the deli, right? Gross deli grocery. We had uh, we sold cigarettes out of there, lottery tickets, and all that stuff. But anyway, a kid came in there. My brother sold him a pack of Newports. Walked out. All of a sudden, the DEA walks in. I think it was the DEA, and we got hit off with a $2,500 fine for not carding and selling to an underage. Now, the kid that came in looked like he was in his 20s. He had a beard and everything. It was, was probably a, ATF that hit y'all. ATF, that's what yeah. it was. Did I say DA? DA. Yeah, I meant ATF. My bad. Yeah. Uh, people are like, DA right now. <laughs> yeah, the ATF. And uh, we got nailed $2,500 fine. And they go around and they do that to every place. Dude, do that shit with the fucking bar. Go to vape shops, go to gas stations, whatever, and try and do that with the jewels. With vape products. Hit them off with the fines. That's what we need. They'll make a shit ton of money if people are selling out to underage kids. No. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's... Oh, that's crazy that his friend... See, <laughs> Patrick. Yes, Patrick. DEA for my other business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're confused. My bad. See, I'm seeing a lot of different prices pop up here, so I guess they're going at different. But I wonder what they cost wholesale. Yeah, because... Because I'm thinking what happened... Wholesale, you sell them under the table for cash. Exactly, and I'm thinking now, that's what they're doing. Now, I had told this story already. Uh, this guy I know that has a vape shop, his wife's cousin buys jewels wholesale, set up a dummy account, corporation and everything, and got a tax ID with it. And he's buying jewels wholesale, and he's taking the jewels that he's buying wholesaling, and he's got kids that are dealing them. I believe it. This is New York. Yeah, I believe it. 
Now, how is Jules supposed to figure out this person? Well, they could actually. They have to investigate and find out. Okay, how are you selling them? Yeah. They have to go out of the way. So yeah, I could actually yeah I could put it on them too. They ought to. Uh, like who's know. who do you blame on that? Do you blame Jewel? Do you blame the wholesaler they're buying it from, or do you blame the guy that's buying them, or the kid that's buying them? Like you don't know who to blame. Well, and, and it's just like this, and I talked about this before. So it's been over a year, well over a year now that I've even messed with the Jewel. That was my first, I guess, real pod system to mess with. And it's because the buddy that I knew that worked at my shop uh, said, here, you know, try it, see if, you know, if it's something you like. So in the process of using that for, I don't know, I think a week or two and had went back up to the shop, I was sitting there talking to him. Within less than an hour, at least four people had walked into that shop. Three of them had no idea three ID, excuse me, and we're all trying to buy massive amounts of just pods. Just the refillable, not the, the cartridges, not the actual devices. He says, I need CID. Uh, we, I, I think I left it out in the car. They leave, he says, watch, they won't come back. And sure enough, they didn't. And then one guy comes in and buys a bunch, but he's got ID. So it's like at that point to where you know that guy that came in to buy all those pods, he can't deny the sale to him, but you know what he's doing with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, someone said I should turn in that person. I don't know who it is. That's the thing. They would. I tried to get to turn them in. You know, I was going to actually contact Jewel and give this person's name, but I couldn't get it. Because so Jewel... Jewel just makes the product. That's all they do is they make it. So how are they to blame when it it's out of their hands once the product leaves their facility for sale? Like how is it? How, how are people? Yeah, blaming? I'll tell you something though. Um, Mr. Just Right said it, and we've said it also plenty of times. I blame the parents. Yeah. Police. The parents are supposed to police their kids. Go through their shit. If they're on there. They got to go find. See it. Do they have a vape product on them? Find it. If you see it, they got to take it away. I don't know. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Stephen Garlington, not Stefan. I'll always say that now since Mark can't read that correctly. Personal accountability needs to be a thing in this country again. You can't blame a company or a product for people making bad decisions. Best comment ever. <clears throat> and also, I heard that, uh, I know this is going on too. Somebody even mentioned it in chat that uh, on eBay, you can buy jewels on eBay. The thing is, if you see jewels being sold on eBay, you need to report them. They yeah. usually get taken down, but uh, sometimes if they don't get reported, they make sales on jewels on eBay to kids. Kids buy them off eBay. Yeah, because from the way I understand it, you're not supposed to be selling any type of electronic cigarette device on eBay, correct? Anything. Yeah, yeah. nothing. I would, I would say it depends on the situation, whether I would blame the kid, the parent, or the person selling it. it I think it really depends on the situation. But it all comes down to the kid at the very end, regardless <laughs> of raise him or anything. What about, about the parent? I mean, what, the, about, what about the parent? What if you wanted to let your kid vape and he you, was 14 or 13? You can teach your kid everything you possibly know but once he gets out there in the world and gets with his friends and tries to fit in it's a whole different thing like i was the same way when i smoked like i never wanted to smoke i started to smoke my, my friends smoked i thought it was cool that's why i started smoking and before i knew it i was addicted yeah well i know this when i started smoking i did it behind my parents back even though my father was a smoker till the day he died that's what took him out but I kept doing it. I kept getting caught and grounding and all that other crap was never working because I was still doing it. And I think when I finally hit, God, I want to say close to 17, they were like, look, if you're going to do this, you just, you're not, you won't do it in my house. That's all they could tell me. Cause it was like at that point, I, they, they just knew I wasn't going to quit. Look, if, no matter what, when we were kids, if there was something that they told us we shouldn't do, we wanted to do it. That's the way it is. 
mm-hmm. and all these everybody who says about the epidemic with the vaping they should even know that themselves that they're actually advertising for vaping they're actually the ones that are pushing the kids towards vaping by just saying that that yeah. there's an epidemic or whatever you know if we if when we were kids we wanted something we got it if i wanted cigarettes i got my cigarettes no problems at all yeah. getting cigarettes i don't i don't know if I hate to make this comment because it would be unfair of me to say. I, I just don't know if people have gotten lazier and just, you know, just throw their hands up completely at first sign of it and say, hey, you know, whatever, just don't do it around me or, or whatever the case might be. But, you know. I I think regardless of what you do or anyone does, if kids want the vape products, they're going to get them. And I think the reason why the FDA – wants to get rid of vaping is just not because how can I put this in a way that doesn't sound bad I think if they eliminate vaping they eliminate like one of the things they have to worry about like now they have cigarettes and vaping to worry about if they get rid of vaping they the won't get rid of vaping what they I'm saying because they have to if that's the case then they have to get rid of smoke, cigarettes well me, meaning like getting rid of vaping like in stores and everything else instead of having yeah, two problems like just make one problem exactly instead of two problems they just have one problem which is cigarettes so that's why they're trying to eliminate vaping yeah but i don't think they're trying to eliminate the va- i don't know i don't uh, know what they're trying yeah i don't i don't know either but that just the funny thing is the problem's always been there it doesn't even deal with vaping this problem has gone on since the beginning of time <laughs> Yeah. But it's just, we're in this industry and we know what's going on with stuff. Yeah. I don't know where I heard this. I don't know if it was, I don't know where, who said it, but there was a, at a, I think it was at a school. They actually had a smoking section outside the school, but you're not allowed to vape at the smoking section. Oh, that was, we talked was, about that Sunday when Ben was working at some school. Yes, yes, yes. Who said that? Ben from Canada. No, wasn't he? I think he meant that was at his job. Yeah, but no, it was. Yeah, it was oh, yeah at you his said job. It, Mark. He was, you they said were working about on, Ben in Canada. They were working on a school, and you could smoke at the smoke pit or whatever, but you can't vape because the kid they didn't want the kids to see you vaping. Yeah, yeah. yes. That, that's that's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I, I, I. Uh. Thank you for the donation there. Savor the vapor. It's the same with cigarettes back in the day before vaping. Yeah, just like I just <laughs> said a minute ago. It's it's a problem that's always been there. It's just, you know, it's kind of like dealing with this problem twice in your life. Because we dealt with this <laughs> when we smoked. Kevin, you probably got a point. Read Kevin's. I'm telling you, parents buy them for their kids to sell. It pays the rent. 50 bucks a pop. <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't fucking doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Some bad I wouldn't like, doubt it at all. Some poor neighborhoods, bad. I guarantee it. Or or it's let's say now for example I'll give you a perfect example. You got a a twenty one or twenty two year old and he has his little brother. He has a little brother that's in I don't know, junior high school or high school, whatever. And the twenty two year old is hard up for cash. Doesn't want to work, but wants his money, you know, to do his thing, to hang out. Mm-hmm. And he's always thinking to himself, the easy buck. Yeah. The easy buck would be, oh, I could sell some weed or whatever, maybe get into that business, and maybe I'd get in trouble, but I could buy vape products, give them to my little brother to sell in school. I could make money. Now, can he get in trouble for doing that? I don't know. Can he get in trouble? You would probably so get I could in see that. Trouble. I could mm-hmm. see that happening. Well, he's is he endangering a minor? Is, that, yeah. is it considered that? I don't know. But anyway, I could see that even happening. Uh, Thank you for the donation there, June Shannon. They want to ban vaping, but want to legalize MJ. And we know what MJ is. Mary Jane? They did it it in Illinois, which I was really shocked they did that. I couldn't believe that right there. As strict as your damn state is about stuff. I know. I I almost, like, fell out of my chair when I heard that. I'm like, are you sure? Like, yep. Yeah. You know why they're going to do it? Because they see vaping is taken away from their cigarette money. 
So if they need to now find something to replace that money, and it's going to be marijuana. And if you think Chicago is bad now, holy shit, wait till it's legal, man. Holy fuck. People are just going to flock here and yeah. just... No, Bob Shorkley, I wasn't talking about Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If they do crack down on the vaping on YouTube, you know what they'll probably lighten up on? Because it'll be the new big thing and it's not going anywhere. CBD. Oh, CBD. Yes. I think it'll get to a point where it will be accepted on YouTube because it's going to be the, <laughs> it'll be the new thing. Yep. There is one thing I'm, I'm happy about since they legalize marijuana in Illinois is that you, I could probably try like real uh, medical grade CBD rather than all this shitty ass CBD they sell in the market. Yeah. But I'm not a weed smoker, so I really wouldn't benefit from that. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Knight. Texas up their age of smoking to 21. Wow, I didn't know that. So that's kind of crazy when I hear stuff like that. It's, isn't it funny, though? You can't smoke or you can't uh, drink till you're 21. But then when you're 18, baby, you could go to another country and shoot up some people if you want to. That, no problem at all. Join the military. Exactly. That's fine I wonder if, you that. could, if you could smoke while you're in the mil military, if you're not 21, that'd be a... <laughs> but <laughs> but, but, but you know what? I know this for a fact. Uh, I, I, this is just a fact. They're very lenient if you're under the drinking age and you drink. So, if that tells you anything. There you go. Jeff Lawson says, Mike Vapes, that's what my daughter says happens all the time at her school. Big brother slash sister buying them for the younger to sell. Yep. I'm certain that is a huge... I mean, I, I know it is, but I'm certain it really is. So, if that's the situation, and let's say stores are carding, they're not selling to minors, and but this is how it's getting out to everyone because everybody's looking to make that quick buck selling this to the kids because they're taking advantage because the kids want these vape products. Who's to blame now? Can you blame the companies? What are they supposed to do? Is the company supposed to hire somebody to follow each person home after they buy a product to see what they do with that product? Nope. No. Parenting. That's what it comes down to. It's the parents' fault. It's just like when I was young, I would always pay someone extra to buy me a pack of cigarettes or buy me beer huh. all the time. Like they would make 20 bucks off buy me like a case of beer or something. Same thing applies with vaping. You pay extra for a pod system if you're young. I mean... It but can you imagine the profit, the money that some of these kids are making in schools, selling jewels or whatever it might be. Pod systems in general, but we will say jewel because that seems to be the one after everybody goes after. Uh, the, the more we talk about this, the more I kind of understand why the FDA is doing what they're doing. So well, they can just wipe it off the market and get the get rid of the problem. I say this though: the money <clears throat> has got to be astonishing for some of these kids that probably don't have a whole lot of money in their life, but they're doing it just like a drug. Mm -hmm. They keep flipping and flipping and flipping, and they make more and more money off of it, and then it just turns into like a, a little enterprise inside these schools the way they're selling this stuff. So. Uh, how can you blame the FDA for wanting to get rid of it to eliminate it? So it's no longer a problem. So uh, it's, it's, I don't know. I know it's are talking so much about it and you start almost agreeing with the FDA. Like, yeah, we kind of should get rid of this because it's getting crazy in, in, in the schools. So I don't know. It's one of those things you're do damn. If you do, you're damn. If you don't, uh, that's kind of what it boils down to. But... I know the parent can't watch their kids 24 seven. But they need to make some sort of attempt and see if what their kids are doing behind the scenes. Try and yeah. figure it out. I don't know. Uh, all of a sudden, how does your kid have all this money? Where is he getting this money from? Yeah. And, and again, I, I don't have younger kids in school to know exactly what's going on in the schools. I don't have a child that's coming home to me telling me, hey, you know, such and such happened there. But... 
I can imagine it's a problem. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Joel. Look, those that know... Oh, hold on, I just lost it up the screen. Hold on, let me get it back. Look that those know, know that the code won't ever change. You don't sell to kids, jewels, dope, anything. If you get caught, that's your ass. There that was the code. Yep. Never sell to fucking kids, they will rat you out. But see, that's the thing now. It's kids selling to kids. Yep. I mean, and these kids, I don't know what the age are, but... Uh, and people probably think, you know, it's not its not really considered drugs, so it's not bad if you get caught. It's only a, a vape product. So I'm, I'm not going to get in trouble if I sell it. The, you know? I guess some of the stuff that scares me with vaping, and I mean, we just got to be 100% honest here. YouTube, perfect reference again. I just caught it again the other night. Uh, a couple of guys, Mark, Mike, I think a few others were in the room. Again, I'm doing my little live search. What do I find? I find right. a kid that's like eight, nine years old vaping and talking into a phone. Yeah. I type in chat, dude, I just reported you. Bam, video gone. Damn near, I think the channel's gone now because he got scared. That was funny. But it's, you know, you're seeing it more and more with some of this stuff, and it's, that's not a good thing. Ooh, we're going to start going over here. I understand. I believe I don't want to be cutting on anybody's toes. Mark, will you pull up a randomizer? We got some things to do here from our special sponsors, as always. Love to give a big shout out there to Camelot and Brad's Vapor. Chris Price, I understand they can get in trouble, but I'm saying in a kid's mind, they're thinking. I probably won't get in trouble if I'm selling this rather than selling a bag of weed or a bag of coke or whatever. This is probably less, you know, less likely to get me in trouble. That's what I was referring to. Thank you. Uh, let's and, do uh, you're not stepping on anyone's toes, by the way. Okay. Good job. Stepping on toes. Well, you know, I'm always stepping on toes. If I'm not stepping on toes, the show's getting jacked up. Even though it's actually ran pretty smooth now, but yep. uh but I do need to do these anyway. So, first one tonight is going to be, and let me get my little speech out the way because, matter of fact, let me get a few things out the way real quick. We had a little mishap last week. I got an email. If that gentleman is watching or no longer a part of this, I don't know what to tell you, but we pulled a name. If we pull a name, and I hope y'all don't take this the wrong way, but if we pull a name my sponsors only ship to U.S. residents. That's their call, not mine. If your name suggests that you might not live in the country, we're gonna oh. we are going to ask in chat to make certain, because I've already learned my lesson here in the past on doing this. That sometimes I get people hit me up and say, "Oh, well, I live here in such and such," and I'm like, "Well, you don't qualify for it." So it was kind of like. I could have reached out to somebody that did qualify for it. So much for equal opportunity. Yeah, so shut up anyway. So I explained that we asked if that gentleman was in the U.S. and we gave him ample time to respond in chat because I know there is a delay. We did not see an answer. I never seen an answer. So we went on to the next person. Well, Come to find out that person did live in the U.S. I apologize and again said what I had to say. I don't know if they took that as, okay, that's cool, or I'm pissed off at you or what. But, hey, it just, this is what happens. I'm not a mind reader, and I can't see people's faces with these in chat. So sometimes, You're a mind reader? Sometimes we have to ask these questions. Don't so, take any offense to it. So... After that long spell. I thought you were a mind reader. I'm on I the actually wrong I am. I am a pretty good mind reader at times. All right. First one we are going to do tonight is going to be for Camelot. It is for the Extreme Chill line. Mike Vapes, will you give us a number, please? Number five out of five. Five. You got to love them. Five. You got to love them fives. The five. 
Is it a five? It's a five. Winner is Marshall Keith. Congratulations, Marshall Keith. Congratulations. That's about as American as you get right there. Well, see, I'm not going all right there. That's Mark doing. So anyway, (laughs) oh, I got to remember in my head. I'm so bad about doing this. Okay. So Brad tonight doing a special one. And this kind of, this is for the man that has changed his name on YouTube and nobody will be able to find him anymore. Brad is giving away a passage RDA tonight. So well, that was that was by that dude who sucked my mind. Who yeah, but he's it. changed his name and I don't know how to find him now on YouTube. But anyway, Mike, can I get one more number from you, sir? The six out of five. <laughs> oh, a six Damn. out of five. Yeah, we're going to a new level. Here we go. Six is Lizard two nine two nine. Congratulations. All right. Well, let's see here. All right. So, all y'all need to do is contact me at stvapes72 at gmail.com. You need to send a photo ID with address, birth date, all that good stuff, and we will get y'all squared away. Uh,. Man, that was that turned into a very interesting show there for a minute. It did it? I reckon it did. Now let's bring some real topics to the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is where things get real. Are you still contemplating in your mind about Sunday? Yep, I'm ready to roll. No, 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 no. What did we talk about on this past Sunday show? Oh yeah, we're gonna have random people come on to. So, are you gonna like? Are you gonna screen anybody beforehand? Or are you just gonna nope. pull somebody out of chat and have them come in? Well, I'm gonna hope and I'm gonna put a post on Facebook or somewhere. People that hopefully follow me, but they'll email me. I'll send them the link, and they're gonna come on the show. They're gonna take over the show, and if they can run it, let them run it. See, because I'm real curious to see how this is going to go. I know Mike won't be with us. He'll be down in Houston partying, but uh, I'm certain at some point he'll probably check in to see what kind of madness is going on there. But It'd be interesting. Who would you like to come on? Like, what kind of personality would you like to have on there? Somebody who talks. Okay. As long as you talk... And not to sit there and blow clouds, you're more than welcome. It's going to sound good. If you come on the show and it's like, hey, guys, and just sit there and just start vaping. Ugh. Okay, but are you going to do this? Are you going to be rude and say, okay, you got to go bring in somebody yes. else? We're, I'm going to actually not even going to say you got to go. I'm just going to boot him out of the room. <laughs> wow. You're going to do like, uh, what is it called? What was that old show where they get on stage and if you suck, they kind of boo you off stage? That seems like most shows nowadays, I thought, but I don't know. Who am I? I forgot what it was. I used to watch it all the time. All right. Well, folks, I think that's all we got, unless you just want me to make up a bunch of stuff and we can start a bunch of nasty rumors in the community and we'll try to debunk them by next week. But I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, Channel going to be shut down this weekend. That yes. that probably is what will happen to Mark's channel. It'll be yeah. gone. So be prepared to see the last episode of anything on there. But well, as always, thank you, Mike and Mark, for being on. Uh, Mike, safe travels to you this weekend. Thank you. Don't forget tomorrow, heavy metal vapor. Never heard of them. Uh, Thursday night. I'm guessing y'all vape team. Everything's yep. going there. Uh, and then Sunday night, I don't even know if we're going to call another, not another vape show. It might be something else, right? Not another shit show. Yep. And it, it might even be worse than that. Alan got it right at the Apollo show. At the Apollo, there you go. That's what you ought to name it. Of course, we'll get it pulled for, uh, you know, copyright or something. But all right, folks, we're going to get the hell out of here. Y'all have a good evening. We will catch y'all next week. Same time, same place. And all that good shit. Y'all have a good evening. We are outie. 
I'm going to show Mark, even though Mark can't see it because he's just looking at the normal screen, I'm going to show y'all how to do that smooth transition. Watch this right here. Smooth criminal. Watch it. Watch how I do it. Watch it. Watch it. We can't see it, though. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> For some reason, it wasn't even freaking smooth. Dead gimmick. All right, we're out of here. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Ah. Dun <laughs> dun